What's going on everyone and welcome to another review. Today we're taking a look at the Womir K87 with the botanical theme. It was sent out to me by Womir and I'll be giving you my complete and honest thoughts. Let's talk about the design of the K87. Coming out of the box, I was immediately in love. It's really a beautiful looking board at first glance. It comes in at around two pounds. It's heavy enough to give it a quality feel, but not too heavy to make it hard to move around. Inside the box comes with a board, the USB type C cable, a keycap and switch puller, and a little brush to clean off the dust off the board. Uh, the little brush, it's it's kind of cool, it's a little gimmicky and different, but I honestly don't see myself using it that much. The K87 is a mechanical keyboard that is housed in a translucent acrylic body, which is my favorite feature about it. The top and bottom are soft to the touch, and the center line has a smoother feel to it, and it shines more light through it than the top or the bottom. It has the botanical theme, so you can see that the body has leaves and plants all along the board. It really makes it stand out from the rest of the boards out there with the acrylic design. It's flush against the body of the board so it doesn't really create any grooves either. The back of the board features five rubber risers to give it an angle. It has one really long one with a slight kind of tilt to it. The incline is very minimal I would say and it doesn't put a strain on my wrist while gaming or from general use. For some people I feel that this board might lay a bit flat even with its ergonomic design. I do wish that they had different risers so you can kind of customize the tilt to it to really make it your own. On the back of the board you can see the Womir branding which is very minimal and clean. I actually really love how they did their branding with the metallic wording uh, sort of carved into the board. It's honestly a nice little touch. This is a hot swappable keyboard that comes in red gator on switches. I personally prefer brown so most likely I'll be doing some modding to this board in the near future. If you guys have some recommended switches that I should use uh, let me know down below as I really want to get into custom keyboards and I think this one is a perfect fit. This board was made with the intent to customize it and really make it your own which is pretty awesome so that's a huge thumbs up for me. It has custom PBT keycaps with a botanical theme on them. The lighting doesn't shine through the letters themselves, but the board is so bright. Even if you're in a dark room, you can see the lettering just fine. I think if you add some pudding keycaps to this board, it will look pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and give this board a little bit of a sound test. Overall, I think the build is solid, but I would say it has some rattle when you press down on the space bar and a few other keys. But otherwise, how it comes stock, I think it sounds pretty great. Now, could it be better? Of course, it can definitely be better. So in the future, I do plan again on customizing this board a little bit more just to make it my own. I would say the form factor of the board in general is great as it lets the RGB light shine through really well. It has a sort of hazy coating on the acrylic, so it's not too over the top with the lighting and it diffuses it perfectly to make it a appear softer. Videos and photos don't really do it justice. It looks so much better in person. So with that, let's get into the lighting of the board, which is by far my favorite feature on it. There's two different sets of lights that you can customize on the board. One will be the inner lighting and the outer lighting of the board. To change the pattern on the outer lighting, you're going to press the function key plus the control key. This will toggle from the different patterns it offers. I personally prefer the static or the rainbow effect. To change the inner or overall colors of the board, you're going to press the function key and the right arrow key. This will toggle between the colors. To change the pattern and use different effects, you can use the function key plus the home key, end, insert, page up, page down, and delete key. This will toggle all the different effects the board offers. There's a ton of options available and for sure something that will please everyone out there. Now these are the ways to change everything on the board without using software. Lucky for you guys, it does come with software to make things a little bit more easier and more customized as well. In the manual, it says to download it from a specific website. But before doing so, you need to download WinRAR on your system to be able to open up the software and install it. I downloaded mine from CNET and I will have a link in the description below. So let me go ahead and walk you through the steps. I went on the website, I pressed the download tab, went to page two, clicked on my board, which is the K87 and downloaded the custom light software. Open the software, follow the prompts and install. Here you'll be able to change everything on the board from brightness, custom pre-installed effects to a custom color wheel as well. I will say with the colors, some colors don't really mesh as good as others mainly because of the color dye on the acrylic. For example, the green doesn't really mesh too well with a yellow or a red. Colors like blue and teal will fit perfectly for this board. 
So that's something to consider and keep in mind when you are making your purchase. The software is decent and it does the job. It can always be better in my opinion. Uh, I would like to see more in-depth customization on this board with the software. This board comes in at around $83 at the time of this video and you can find it in the Amazon link down below in the description. Overall, I think this board is a bang for your buck and a perfect board for beginners that are looking into modding their own boards themselves. The pros far outweigh the cons for me, which honestly, it was only the wonky space bar and the inconsistent key rattles on the board. What do you guys think of this board and would you consider buying it? Go ahead and tap on this video right here for more tech content as well.